and we followed Jeff back to his warehouse here and what I always wanted to know the difference is you know solid solid hardwood flooring versus engineered hardwood flooring solid versus engineered hardwood flooring uh, yeah um, the solid hardwood flooring as you can see here is just one slab of wood cut directly from a tree uh, the engineered as you can see is basically a plywood core with real wood veneer on the top. Uh, it is real wood, it's not uh, laminate or pergo. Uh, both of these products are real wood, but one of them is manufactured and the other one is simply milled. Um, the reason that you would use an engineered hardwood floor is if you were going down to a concrete subfloor. Uh, because there is a lot of moisture in concrete, you can't install solid hardwood flooring directly on top of it because you it cannot. Will, no, it, it will cut because there is too much moisture in the concrete. On the other hand, engineered hardwood floor, because it is layered, can be glued directly on top of the concrete slab, and that's why they came up with, uh, with an engineered floor. So in a way, you can look at engineered floors as almost like being a turtle that carries its home on its back. Uh, with solid hardwood floors such as this, uh, what I have here is about 2,000, 3,000 square feet of a quarter sawn white oak. And these are all long lengths. These are about 10, 12 feet long. Uh, this is for somebody who's doing a custom home right now in, uh, in Westchester. But this floor cannot be installed directly on top of a concrete subfloor. This will have to be installed on top of a plywood or a uh, strand board, which that's what it will be done. So to answer your question, solid hardwood floors, engineered hardwood floors, each one has its particular need and particular use.